Hey everyone, just wanted to do a video um, showing some of the learning materials and books that Osborne Books and More has to offer. I'm going to do a little bit more in depth with some of the books so you can kind of see what they're all about. So we'll go to this first one. It's called Under the Sea. And this one is for like newborns. Um, let's open it up right here. We'll go to this page to start. So it's like a, actually it's a fold out book. Fold out, but um, they do the black and white because newborns can only see 8 to 15 inches in front of them. Not only are they extremely nearsighted, but they are unable to see color and highly detailed designs. So these black and white books offer infants just enough stimulation to learn essential eye development through high contrast. And these, and you can also look up um, in the catalog, they have a whole library, little, it's called My First Little um, Library, and um, these, you can get some of these in a little kind of series, um, or they have a couple little individual books like this, so they're super cute. So then when they get a little bit older, here's some more bright colored stuff for them to look at. That folds out too. So it's a super cute um, must-have, I think, first um, book for newborns. and as they get older. So this next series is the, what is it, the Little Red Penguin Collection. And that one, it comes with words, numbers, shapes, and colors. And I'll show you a little bit inside. Um, so here, who's hiding behind the bush? It's my friend beginning with D, dog. So that's real cute, it's got little flaps that um, fold out. And then uh, let's look at learn colors. This is one of my favorite ones. Glug glug, we're under the sea. Who's steering the submarine? It's me, orange fish. I'm gonna go through another one. Up, up, we're floating in the sky. Who's in charge of the balloon? It's me, purple dinosaur. Whoops, right there. There you go. So this is a really cute set for shapes and words and numbers and colors. So now we will go over here to um, baby's very first noisy book. This is the, we have the farm one, and then we have the um, first noisy book train. They have different, they have other ones too that you can check out, and again, check the catalog or look online. So here we'll go. They, um, they do have this other, um, it's a nursery rhyme one, and that was out of stock for a while, but it's, I believe it's back in stock, and that one was super popular, so that's why it was out of stock. So the next one we're going to go to right here, it's the That's Not My, and it's the, it's the, not, it's the That's Not My series. Um, this is a, this one's a series, it's a set. Um, this is one, this one's That's Not My Zoo, as you can see, and so this one comes with um, That's Not My Monkey, they're all touch and feel books. The ears are too soft. That's not my panda. The ears are too fluffy. That's not my elephant. The ears are too rough. Listen to that. That sounds very rough, actually, and feels rough. Uh, that's not my meerkat. The ears are too fluffy. So you go in and you can just, just feel the trunk is too leathery. The ears are too squashy. And then you get to the end. And then that's my elephant. Its tusks are so smooth. So this is the zoo set. Um, and again, there's a bunch more of these books. Um, there's like, there's not my princess. And here I also have like, I have, that's not my owl. Um, its beak is too shiny. And you go through and then at the end, that's my owl. The babies are so fluffy. The little babies. Kids get a real big kick out of all those touch and feel books. So here's another one that you kind of touching a bit, touching and feeling. Um, these are uh, Baby's First Finger Trail Playbook, Cats and Dogs. Again, there's more of these. There's a zoo one, a garden one. Um, there's a zoo garden, and I think there's a um, dinosaur one. And there's even more. They, we, they have so many books. So um, so you just go along and you feel here. Like, let me show you again on the front. So you kind of run. They can run their finger along the cat's tail. Run their finger along there. And then you can do the little flaps. Who's hiding behind the bush? We are the little bunnies. 
So we've got through here, through here, and who's in the kennel? I don't have nails, so I can never get these open. Okay, <laughs> munch, munch. It's actually not too hard to get it open, any of these, so that one's adorable. Okay, and then we'll go into time to, I want to be an astronaut, stuntman, spy, or fighter pilot. So it's one of those I want to be, you know, when I grow up books. So. Board book. Should we come in the pages? That's a couple of them. There's the one at the end that's really cute. It's the astronaut. She's adorable. So that's that one. That's a super, that's awesome. Um, this one I had gotten for my, I got for my daughter, um, from another person's party in the past. And this one, um, is fun. It's really fun. It's only like $4.99. We're so just drawing animals and stuff like that. She had a kick out of it. So I can draw animals. And this next, um, these next books come in a set together. There's four of them. How to bathe your di little dinosaur. How to brush your teeth um, with Snappy Crack. Or you actually, you can get them each individually. Um, how to feed your cheeky monkey. Or and how to tuck in your sleepy lion. So this goes through little ones who, let's say, are not too keen on going to bed. So we have, like, tired little lion doesn't want to go to bed. He's had a bath and cleaned his teeth. Um, and he wants to play instead. So it kind of goes through the whole scenario of, like, getting them tucked into bed. Same thing about like feeding, and then um, you make sure you brush your teeth, so that one does that. And then how to bathe your little dinosaur. And then you got um, dirty little dinosaur doesn't want to wash. Fill up bathtub, splish, splash, splash. So that, um, so these are super cute. So if there's any issues going on with kids, and these are kind of fun because they could see what little dinosaur is going to do, and what a little snappy rock does, or a cheeky monkey, or a sleeping lion, sleepy lion. So again, you can get them individually or as a set. So that's super cute. And we'll move along to some big, 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 big favorites is this book and these two books. I love them. They are each $9.99 and this make a great um, gift or just buying in general um, for kids because I'll show you. It's really cute. They're super cute. So they're each $9.99 for $20. You get both of them, of course. Nine. Anyway, um, they're just, again, love. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so this one is Who's Next? Guess Who? Search who came and find who went. I'll move these ones out of the way so we're not getting distracted. Okay, so. okay, so here we go. First came the elephant with his friend, the lovely ladybug. So we got elephant and ladybug. And then you guess who was next? So they kind of look over, check out right there. And they're like, oh, I think it's the tiger. A tiger came next with his friend, the dog. And then who left? So we're like going... Somebody left the page. Who left? So you have to ask them, critically think. They have to think about it. And you kind of look over and peek in the corner. Don't mind the shadow. And who does that look like? That looks like Ladybug left. Guess who came next? So you kind of look. Ooh, who does that look like? I think that looks like an owl. So, oh, owl came next with a very friendly black cat. Right there. And, oh, someone's leaving over there. Um, so you said, who left? I think he left the dog. But then who? Um, guess who came next? I think it's the purple dinosaur. Um, so purple dinosaur came next with a funny old tortoise right there. And then you're seeing who's leaving, and you kind of go through that. So they kind of have to just guess all those things. And the characters are absolutely adorable. Like, look at those little pigs. Oh, my gosh. So cute. So then in the end, you just kind of go, who did you see? And you can discuss that with them. Okay. And then this is the other one. Um, again, you can buy them each individually. They don't come as a setter at all, but I think it's kind of cute together because they look so similar. Um, who's ready to play? And lots of other questions. Search and find differences. So the thing with this book is every page is the same with a difference on it. So you'll start out with who's splashing whom because you didn't have a page before that had this. So then the child will have to look around and go, oh, um, elephant splashing kangaroo and oh, whale splashing these guys. And so, and then you go to the next page, like who's upside down? They have to look through, keep looking through. Oh, monkey's upside down. So kind of just going, keep just asking you questions. Like who swapped places? Who's ready for lunch? Um, who changed color? Oh, chameleon did. So then you get, you keep going through a couple more pages and you get this silly page where the kids just start laughing. Because, I'll show you, because it says, who's pooped? So the kids just laugh, ha, 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 because we're talking about poop, and the cow did. 
So it just keeps going through that kind of fun stuff. Who had a baby? Oh, cute. You know, so they check out. So just, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Super adorable. Okay, now we're gonna go through some sound books. We have Jungle Sounds, and we have the Musical Nursery Rhymes. So they use like, press on that to kind of start hearing that. And of course they're louder when I hold, they're not on the blanket, I'm holding them up. Yes, I have a Christmas blanket I'm doing everything on, so getting festive for the holidays. Because all these items make great gifts. Okay, so then you can go in here and you'll have like, oh, hey diddle diddle. And you can, they can go and um, sing along with the song. Hold another cupboard. I heard Humpty Dumpty. So that's what it is. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with jungle sounds. This one, the illustrations are, the, I mean, the colors, the, the drawing, the illustrations, the whole deal, and just beautiful. So many bright colors and so eye-catching. This whole book is just awesome. Of course, and the sounds. The great sounds. So we'll go look around and I'll give you some of this. I'll show you some. There you go. Oops, I can't see through that. There you go. So that's a great one. Okay, we're gonna move along to over here. To very uh, very first book of things to spot out and about. So what happens in these books are you just kind of look around and you can work with your child and ask like who has a green bicycle? Oh, or can you or so you spot you point it out and then you're like okay who has a blue basket on there? So they look around and they go oh right there. So yeah so. And then like, oh, which flower is tallest? Oh, that one, yay. You know. Oh, and they're like, who's flying the helicopter? And you look around. Oh, look, it literally looks like Kitty is flying. So. Some nice bright colors, some cute little guys in here. And like, who's on a skateboard? Oh, he's on, so you know, it's a lot of critical thinking, looking around, trying to figure things out. So that's great. Lots of good learning, looks like this. Okay, so that's that one, and then we're gonna do this is another one with sound, listen and learn, first English words. So you open up, you open this up, and there's four different cards in here. Do food, you put it right, slide it right in there. I'm trying to do this while holding a camera. So you hit go. Oops. Oh, I have to turn it on. Hold on one second. There you go, right there in the back. Okay, let's do this again. Sorry. Okay, now hit go. There you go. So. Ice cream, apple, banana. We like the apple and banana song. And then you can grab, take that one out. Comes out easily. The farm. And you always have to hit go first. Farm. Farmhouse. Cow. Hen. Chicks. Barn. So this is a yeah, it's super cute. And then you've got things that go, and then. at home so that's pretty cool okay and then we have two books about me so first um first words book and about about food and then about me so kind of goes through like apple banana pasta you can kind of see it names everything food at home the bakery My body, eye, eyebrow, hair, head, arm, finger, what I can do. Yeah, so that's cute. Okay, we'll move on to these. These are things to spot. 
these over here. It's thousand and one things to spot. There's a whole bunch of these that we sell that are fun for. Again, more thinking and figuring things out. Like you'll go right here, six pineapples, and this one is the pirates. Arr. So spot things out on each page. Four of those, three three campfires. Look around, point out. Uh, oh, there, oh, there, oh, there. So then there's uh, um, animals, thousand one animals to spot. Thousand one bugs, so many kids love bugs. Seven slugs, I kind of got all the slugs. And then we have the, um, a thousand things. A thousand and one things to spot in fairyland. Again, don't mind me, I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time. But I think you can get the idea of stuff. Ten fairy horses. Let's see what's about all these different things. That's cool. Now we're going to go to the uh, puzzle picture books. This one's under the sea. I'll kind of show you what they do with these. So they ask you questions and you kind of have to go spot like those other books. Um, let's see. Okay, look for a lonely little crab. So look around, and when you find it, you just go and spot it out. Look at this, look at all that page. Look at all the color. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at these little guys in here, too. Can you spy a lantern? I lost a tooth. Have you seen it? Look at those faces. That's so cute. The kids are get a kick out of that alone. Look at them. Eating this fish. This is a really fun one. And then there's a zoo one. And then we have a farm. Farm picture puzzle book. Look at the little pigs. So that's those. And now we're going to go over to sticker books yeah, selling we have tons of sticker books to sell that we're selling um, that we sell online so check that catalog out too and you can look online like I said and um, tons of fun ones so this is a mermaid one I got this for my daughter I guess she hasn't played with it yet I just got it so super this is very cute and then we got an ABC one. They played with this one in the past. Got this a while back. And you can go in and you can see put the stickers in A. All the stickers in everything. It starts with the letter A. And you're going to B. And I'll show you. Sorry. Yeah, see that taking stuff out of here. So that's the letters and the stickers for that. And then I just go with the hard stick. Right there. Great one to have when they're learning the alphabet, learning how to read, and starting beginning reading alphabet. Um, just words that start with A, B, C, you know. And then space, of course space. So many children love um, space. My son is obsessed with space. It's a nice space sticker book. So this was ours that we got. And a basic dinosaur. Lots of children love dinosaurs. My kids put stickers all over, don't mind that, so just so you can get kind of the gist of some of the kind of stickers they have in this type of book, because they have lots of different sticker books, and then the backgrounds, you can all put them in. So now we get to these. These are for a little bit older kids, and um, the, and these, I love these, because the vibrant colors and the, the um, graphics are amazing. So we have all the trucks, and here's all the different types of stickers. So it's build your own cars and trucks. Then we're on to superheroes. So excited about this one. So we'll have here some of the superheroes. And then I'll show you the um, stickers. Oops.
I mean, check out those colors, seriously. And dinosaurs, of course. Build your own dinosaur sticker book. So again, this is a little bit older children rather than that. Um, you saw that other sticker book that we had had for dinosaurs. Um, this one's can be for. I mean, if you're playing, if you're doing all working on this stuff with your children and they're younger, they can use these easily. You know, it can be for more ages than the stated age ages for it. So here I'll show you. So we'll start here. And go show you some stickers. And there's tons and tons and tons more sticker books if you look online and like I said in the catalog. So check all that out. Now we're going to go to um, the whole reading, some of the reading stuff that they have. Um, we're going to do the reading scenario over here, all the reading stuff. Um, so let's do this one first. This is my first reading library. All these books you see here fit into here. There are 50 books. So right here, it's um. I'll read this to you. Fifty books that, uh, to guide your child through the first stages of reading. So it comes with twenty-two first uh, first reading books, twelve first reading level one, and sixteen first reading level two. So they are like you can kind of see the different color sections. They have like a green section, orange section, and purple section. So this these are the um, um, very first reading books, and I will show you kind of what happens with these. It's pretty cool. So this is the dressing up book. So what happens is, in these books are, so you read this, I could be an explorer. Your child reads this, I can pack a map. So you'll keep going. Or maybe a sleeping princess, hush now. I can nap. So you'll kind of go back and forth during the reading. And then when you get to the back of these books, there are little puzzles. So you like, they'll have you do match the speech bubbles, to the pictures and then I can sit on a rock and then oh which picture matches so you can do those with the kids after you read the book with them there's another puzzle right there and then they'll have the answers right there answers to puzzles and then they'll have a little um these guidance notes for parents so that's very cool so there's quite a few books have that whole thing going on with these first um these this is the whole section of the um the first readers. So then we'll go to, let me just make sure, level one. So it says right on the top there, level one. So I'll like, show you, and they have the puzzles in the back too. I'll show you what happens. Level one book. It's like the wish fish. Okay, three wishes. So there's um, a bunch of different ones. I'll show you. Go to the next section. These are, oops, sorry. These are the um, level two, clever rabbit and the lion. I'll show you into some of those. So that's cool. The old woman who lived in a shoe. Just a bunch, so um, you can actually see on the back, um, they have all the books laid out on the back. And this one, um, this actually, this whole set sells for, for um, $79.99, and, and each bookshelf actually only comes to a um, dollar, like dollar fifty nine, I believe, which is great. I mean, you get 50 books. That's just a ton of books, and it's a great, great, great set. I would, When I got it, I was so beyond excited and was, like, calling people about it, so <laughs> anyway. Let's move along to another huge favorite, the uh, Phonics Readers. This contains 20 titles, and I will show you some of them. I 
like we have, this is one of our favorites, uh, my daughter and mine, she likes this one, um, Llamas in Pajamas. Now these stories are super cute, the graphics are great, the colors and everything are great, um, the fonts are nice and big. Just very cute stories. Bug in a rug, and they have a lot of rhyming words, a bunch of rhyming words, and you can let your, you know, discuss that with your child while you're reading them, or they're reading them to you, or you're reading them to them. This is the kind of um, set that you could get your child, you could get it for somebody who has a newborn, and they can read to the newborn, and then when the little one gets older, they, um, he or she can read to, to the parent. So yeah, this crack gets a shock, B makes tea, I'll just go through some of these. A couple of things. Interior, inside, go. Box in a box. That's one we like a lot. Snail brings them out. This is a really good story. Again, lots of rhyming words. So this one's adorable too. Well, they're all super cute, but this one's, I like, especially like some of these. Underpants rings. And then another big favorite, raccoon on the, raccoon on the moon. So yeah, this is, um, so those, let me just show you the front of the box. They come in a set like, I have two sets here, so showing you. Um, I believe this one's $69.99. And each book is only like three three fifty nine a piece. So that's a very good deal for all these kind of books. So, all right, we're gonna head over here to wipe clean first numbers and wipe clean pen control. Let's do first numbers. I'll show you inside. This, these are the books you can use for a very long time. If they wipe clean, you can use it for multiple children. And then we got the pen control. This one's great to have initially, just so they can practice, you know, getting ready to write words and numbers, letters and numbers. There you go. Okay, that one's done. We'll come over here to um, Human Body Shine the Light book. We have the Space Station Shine the Light book. There's a couple more Shine uh, Shine the Light books, and I'll show you how these work. You do. Let's see if I hopefully won't shut my video camera off. I need to get a flashlight. You could use your phone, the, the light on if you have a like flash on your phone. So I'll show you. Okay, it's on. So right here, a new person is waiting to be born. Can you see her? Let me show you real quick. It looks better when you actually can hold it down correctly. I'm kind of just holding the camera and trying to do this at the same time. So I'll do a skeleton such as a skeleton. So that's how it does. It's, these books are really fun. So these are the shine. Oops. Sorry, the shine light books. So I got the human body one, and we have the space station. So next, we're going to go to these fun nonfiction books. These are super cool, and they're only um, $4.99, and they're They've, they're easy to, to understand, and so they're just uh, good good to have. So there's a whole bunch of them. So this is uh, The Sun, Moon, and Stars. It's a, one of our favorites. Kind of show you in there. Oops, okay, let's go that. Volcanoes, tadpoles and frogs, weather, snakes. These are just some. There are so many of these. Okay, so your body is another one that I think actually the little illustrations are so cute and there's they're very cute how they explain everything. Like here are a few things, here are a few of the things that your brain controls. 
And then they have the little guys feeling hungry, and the dog is running off grabbing the food, smelling, and the, and they're just cute, and they're funny. And for four ninety nine, this book is just awesome. So it's got that the body sends messages to the brain about things it sees. So just showing the messages and stuff going back. So showing the little details of the people. They're like cleaning the eyeball up. Yeah, this is a, like to me. This is this one in particular is a must have. Um, for learning uh, 4 dollars again on that. Like I said, these are all 4 dollars I don't even know why I checked again. But um, trains, us kids love trains. I can show you a little bit. Okay, panda, sharks. Oh, now, here we go. Okay, next. We have, um, these are for ages about four to seven. It's a kind of, um, not into a total like chapter, chapter book yet, but just beginning to get into that realm because a lot less pictures and more um, text. I mean, it is a chapter book, like I said, there are chapters in it, but it's um, bigger text than normal and a little bit, you know, they're shorter, they're not really long. So this comes in a series, you can get a set 15 um, books. I don't exactly remember the price, but I think it was 59 or 69. Um, I'll have to check. And you can get them each individually, and I think they're only, four, again, four ninety nine. dollars Yeah, because we just have this one, but we have read like three or four or five of them. Like four or five, yeah. So that already kind of shows you. So yeah, super cute. Billy B. Brown. Very, very, very cute. And now, this is one that's cute too. This is um, Get Stressed, Max and Millie for the kids um, learning how to get dressed and um, learning their numbers and everything. So that one's cute. I'll show you at the beginning. Maximilia friends, and they um, they like to put a dress up. i show you. This is a fun one you can read to your children and then they can read it to you down the road. So get dressed, Maximilia. We'll come right over here. We have that this um, big picture atlas. Let me show you inside here. This, is, this one is great to have too. A little bit older kids. And there's all like information. I don't know if you can see that. My flags. So yeah, this is one that would be great to have. So it's the um, Osborne Big Picture Atlas. Okay, now we have adding and subtracting for a little bit older kids. This one's cute because it's got some fun illustrations while they're learning their math. And then we've got a my first story writing book. I had to have this one because I think this is like fun because kids love to love to think of stories and with, you know use their imagination all the time. So this one's again a little bit older because you kind of we have to write out they, have to, they ask you questions and you have to write out answers to it. Um, like how does it feel? There's more to um, a place than what it looks like. And then you what, what can you hear? What can you smell? So it just helps the child um, along with and you like write a comic. That's a fun one. That's a super fun one. Okay, next we're going to go to a Shakespeare collection. Um, this one comes with five different stories. So we have A Midsummer's Night's Dream, Macbeth, Twelfth Night, Hamlet, Romeo, and Juliet. And we'll take, I'll show you right here. We'll take some out, like Midsummer Night's Dream, and kind of show you what they look like inside. This is, again, one, because it has a decent amount of pictures you can read to your child. Um, younger, and when they're older, they can read it to you. So, yeah, I can pull this up and show you, too. My bath. Oops, there you go. Get this one out of the way. Bath. Twelfth Night. Hamlet. Romeo and Juliet. So, that's, um... So that's a good, really cool set to have. 
now we're going to move all these over here. And there's books falling everywhere. Um, the Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales. A wonderful, beautiful book to just even have. It's a gorgeous book. Check this out. 1999. Worth it. Tons of stories in here. I'll show you. Um, I'll show you. I mean, look at that. Just a gorgeous book. This will make a great gift. Great, great, great gift. And it's only $19.99, like I said. Um, okay, so uh, what do we got? So we got Princess and the Pea, The Emperor's New Clothes, Thumbelina, The Ugly Duckling, The Little Mermaid, The Emperor and the Nighting Nightingale, The Flying Trunk, Trunk, yeah, The Brave Tin Soldier, The Wild Swans, The Little Fir Tree, The Tinderbox, The Snow Queen, and about, and about Hans Christian Andersen. I'm going to go through the pages. Then a little mermaid um, part of the picture in the beginning is really pretty. So don't mind the buzzings in the background, sorry. <laughs> okay, and one last book I'm going to show you. Okay, that and we'll over there. So if you love to travel, you have a lot of you travel a lot. Um, kids in the car, a decent amount going here and there. These little travel uh, puzzle um, pocket puzzle books are great to have. Look how small. See how small they are. And you can throw them in bags, take them with you, leave them in the car. Um, so they have a bunch of little just little puzzles and fun things that the kids can do while they're cruising around and they're not saying, "Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet?" Like here, these visitors are looking around. At a new space museum, can you see eight differences between the two scenes? That can you help this uh, this girl find a guidebook to India on the bookshelf? So you look around, you see if you can find that for her. Very, very cute. Which way should Elfie climb up to reach Eo's treehouse? Find the matching pair of inflatables. So these are, the, so this, the whole travel books, all these travel books are a blast. So something I have. Okay, well, I am all finished and I'm at almost 38 minutes. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so hopefully you've got some information and so you found some things you fell in love with book wise. I fall in love all the time. With, I love all these books. I fall in love all the time. Every time I get a box of books, of, you know, I'm like, wow, so exciting. So anyway, thank you so much, and I appreciate it. Bye.